portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Atlantis has announced new leadership at the property as managing director of nine years. George Marcantonis prepares now to leave the company. Keisha Adderley has the details. One week after the resignation of Atlantis Managing Director George Marcantonis, Atlantis parent company Brookfield Management has announced new appointments at the Paradise Island property. It was announced late today that Paul Burke, a former chief operating officer of Atlantis, will succeed Marcantonis as the new managing director. Marcantonis will, according to a statement released by the company, move on to the post of president and chief operating officer of the Venetian, the Palazzo and the Sands Expo Center in Las Vegas. Mark Antonis' departure will mean other promotions at the country's most prominent resort property. Stuart Bow has been promoted to the position of Senior Vice President and General Manager of Hotel Operations. Bow, a 20-year veteran in hospitality, most recently served as Senior Vice President of and General Manager of the Beach and Coral Towers. He's also the President of the Bahamas Hotel and Tourism Association. Bo said of his new position, I am thrilled by this opportunity to oversee Atlantis Beach, Coral, and Royal Towers. And Burke said, it's something I've worked toward for my entire career. As he prepares for a new chapter in his career, Mark Antonis said Burke has been both an excellent partner and a great friend. He added that he's delighted to see a long-standing and hard-working employee in Bo continue his success. Kishl Adderley, ZNS Network News. They're the first private sector partner to join the ranks of government-driven entrepreneur initiatives that seeks really to help Bahamians start their own business, giving them all the necessary and essential tools needed to make it thrive. Well, as we hear from Clint Watson, it's just the latest move by a popular businessman to give back to the community and fill a critical need. Instead of complaining, let's just do something about it. Um, I think own is going to be the bridge between somebody's goals and a successful business. That's what OWN wants to be. We want to promote bohemian ownership. Visionaire of the OWN Your Bahamas initiative, Sebastian Bastien, says it was based on that premise that he saw the need to supplement what government was doing and become a part of the world of possibilities and opportunities for Bahamians looking to start their own business. Bastien says successful applicants will get an opportunity of a lifetime totaling thousands of dollars. Two of them will be able to go to China and we will receive a $25,000 grant. And we're sending them to China because every year China has a, a fair called the Canton Fair. And the reason why we chose the Canton Fair is because we want to expand the investment appetite of the average bohemian. And I've attended the Canton Fair on three occasions. The opportunities that you can find is unbelievable. And I know anyone exposed to that type of environment with the financial backing will come back with the best business idea and known. We're also providing eight successful applicants with a $5,000 grant to start their, their business initiative. In addition to that, um, there will be a three-week course at the COB that all applicants will be able to attend. And it's a small business course designed to t teach you how to start your own business, own and operate that particular business. And OWN is going to be a program that we're looking to run uh, three times a year. So this is the first one. We're looking to come back in July and do part two of OWN and then in October, part three of OWN. The goal is to expand employment opportunities in the country by starting 30 companies annually. We want to you know, to teach Bohemians how to invest and start up businesses that are niche market, that, you know, they could be successful at. Iden Luck is not solely sponsoring this initiative. Other corporate partners have come on board, like the Nassau Guardian and BTC, which will offer companies two years free advertisement, cell phone service, and internet for their businesses. And I think the domino effect is immeasur immeasurable, and I think this is what the Bahamas needs at this time. Applicants will be scrutinized by a committee who will shortlist and make final decisions based on interviews. The Own Your Bahamas initiative will be launched on Thursday night at the British Colonial Hilton Hotel. The website at ownyourbahamas.com will also go live at that time to begin receiving applications. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News. In news from the courts, accused murderer Michelet Auguste was acquitted today after Justice Vera Watkins ordered jurors to find him not guilty. 
This after Justice Watkins ruled that the quality of the recognition evidence in that case was tenuous in nature, vaguely and inherently weak. She also noted, among other things, that the identification can at best be described as recognition based on a fleeting glance or a fleeing glance that occurred in the difficult circumstances that he was in. August thanked the court after being acquitted. He is expected to be released from prison soon. The immigration officer accused of raping a Jamaican woman was granted $12,000 bail today by Justice Bernard Turner. Court papers show that 53-year-old Norman Bastian had sexual intercourse with a 28-year-old Jamaican female without her consent on December 15th of last year, an allegation Bastian denies. It is expected that the case will proceed by way of voluntary bill of indictment. Attorney Wayne Monroe is defending the accused. <laughs> This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it.